Welcome to Plant Lifestyles once again. This is the channel Plant Lifestyles. Today I am into the bush. Yes, there is a new leaf I want to speak about. I want us to um, learn a little bit about it. I've done a video on it on this channel, but I told you that when I do a video and people like it a lot, I move further to do an extensive video about it and also explain further um, benefit I didn't speak in that video, in a new video. Today I'm speaking about this leaf called Nyenya or you can see it in my neck called Nyenya or Momodika Charantia, that is the scientific name. Momodika Charantia is the name. So today I'm speaking on it its physical benefit and the power of spiritual benefit. The, the other video I spoke much about the spiritual benefits. I'm going to speak on the physical benefits much in this video and the few spiritual benefits because maybe you've not watched that video yet. So I'll add few spiritual benefits. This plant, if you are suffering from typhoid fever, in fact, typhoid fever, this is what we are going to do. We are going to get the leaves. Once we get the leaves, we are going to smash them in water or we are going to blend. Once we wash it, we blend them. We are not going to cook it. Don't add heat. Don't add heat to it. We are going to blend it raw. Yes, it's very powerful. We are going to blend it raw and then use it as a medicine or a medication to treat typhoid fever. So, once we blend, we are going to filter it, you can put it in your refrigerator, we are taking it half a cup, a teacup, morning, and evening and afternoon. It is going to work very well for you. And again, this plant is also powerful to treat mal malaria, it is anti-malaria. If you are suffering from malaria, it is very powerful. Yeah, for malaria you can add heat, you can collect a lot. Yes, you can collect a lot and then put them in your saucepan. Once you put them in your saucepan, um, you wash it uh, before putting it in your saucepan. So once you wash it, you can boil it for the decoction to soak the water or to make a decoction out of the leaves. And then you drink it, take a teacup in the morning, afternoon, evening. It will be okay at least. From three days, you will be okay from malaria. Once again, this same plant is very beneficial for those suffering from diabetes. Yes, in fact, it restores your sugar level. It regulates the sugar level to the required one. Um, today, I am at the entrance of the forest. Yes, I am at the entrance. Let me tilt my camera a bit for you to see where I am. That I am the entrance. Of the forest yes this is the entrance of the forest and then I'll be entering soon to do another video yes that's why I want you to subscribe because I'll be entering the forest soon I'm the entrance so once I enter into the forest I'm going to bring out big plants and then plant that are um, very huge they are medicinal purposes and other things yes so those suffering from diabetes this plant has the power to regulate your blood level to bring you to the neutral point yes to the neutral point the doctor will be shocked for the diabetes patient treatment this is how we are going to take it we are going to blend it and take it every morning every morning morning only morning we are going to blend the leaves so it is very prudent to get this plant in your garden yes or there are two ways of consuming it. Either you get the plenty leaves and dry them. When you dry the leaves, you pound it and then filter it to get um, the powdery form. Once you get a powdery form, you can get a teaspoon and then boil your water because blending it every morning, you need fresh leaf to blend. But you might not be able to get a fresh leaf every morning. So because you, you might not get the fresh leaf to blend every morning, what you are going to do is you can dry it once you dry it what you are going to do is we are going to make it powdery form 
and when when you make it powdery form you can get a teaspoon one teaspoon in the morning and put it in warm water you drink it early in the morning before food you drink it early in the morning you just repeat it for one week two weeks and go and test your and test your sugar level you will testify that you'll be neutral you will be at the normal point in fact it's work it's a natural remedy it's very powerful yes the diabetes patient you need this you need this subscribe to the channel i told you in the earlier video that i will be doing the videos in the garden in the house i'll be doing it in my garden for a while once a while i'll enter into the forest and do this video today i'm going to do five good videos this is the first one when i enter into the forest so when you subscribe you will get a notification when I'm done with the editing and then I bring out the video. Yes, this is the first video I'm uploading and then this is the first video I'm doing in the forest. I'm at the entrance. I'll enter soon. Once I enter, I'm going to do extra videos. So, subscribe to view those videos. Yes, so that you don't miss a lot of plants because I am now going into the forest for new plants to teach you. Yes. So this is how it treats diabetes. It regulates the blood level. It makes sure that your uh, pancreas, your liver is working very well because it, 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 it works on the liver and the pancreas to make sure that your blood sugar is very well stable. Yes. And once again, those who um, are suffering from um, this heart attack and all those stuff, you do it the same way the diabetes patient also do it. You are going to get the leaves. Either you either dry it or if you get it fresh every morning, you can blend it every morning to make a decoction fine or to blend it and then filter it and drink. It's very fine. Or you are going to make a powdery form. If you are anywhere in the world and then you want the dry leaves, you can just contact me. Just drop your WhatsApp number that you need the dry leaves. I'll contact you and then we will talk about it and how to deliver it to you. I use the HL to deliver my goose around the world so i bring uh, i'll bring the dry leaves or i can make a powdery form for you and then ship it to wherever you are so if you're having it in your area then that is good you can get it and dry it and make your powdery um, that is uh, form and start using it so um this is the few i spoke about some i didn't speak about those i've given you in this video so let me jump into the spiritual video and give you two spiritual uses and then let me bring this video to an end because once you like the video, I continue from where I ended. YouTube, I don't want my videos to be very long. Just, I make sure my videos are within 15 minutes. Uh, I don't exceed 15 minutes or else. I only um, exceed 15 minutes when I'm doing preparation, where I'm going through preparation and then, yes. I'll be moving here and there, bringing this cooking pot, putting it on fire, and then waiting for it to boil and all those stuff. That's where I make a long video. Yes, uh, or a seed 15 minutes. So all my videos are kept between 15 minutes if I'm teaching leaves. I don't want them to exceed. So that it won't be so lazy for you to watch. Yeah. So the special benefit, even putting it in your neck like this and moving around drives away negative energy drives away anything that does not uh, bring positivity to your life it brings favor grace uh, in in the olden days when you give birth to a new child you make sure you bring this leaf to the house or the room where the child is sleeping so that no evil spirit can attack the child or what so that no evil spirit can attack the child so if the child is being given birth if the child is kept in the house or in the room for seven days before the mother can bring the child out even sometimes a month so in during that process they are testing that whether the child is coming to stay or the child will leave them so when the child is uh, being delivered they can even yes i remember my grandmother used to do this you just get the leaf and then tie it on the hand yeah it will tie it on your hand uh, i quite remember my brothers my junior brothers how he does but uh, he did this to them you just tie it on your hand like this and the baby's hand it is there to uh, drive away evil eyes 
is there to drive away evil eyes yes it's very powerful and once again if there is um, a spirit um, that is there's a spirit in the room or in the house disturbing people that spirit is disturbing people put these leaves at point point tie them at a point you can even make a, a flying pot and plant this leaf there and put them at point point of the house oh forget they don't like the leaves the leaves itself drive away evil spirits so it's very powerful subscribe to the channel i have more videos to give we will soon enter into the forest and then once we are in the forest that is where we are going to review my uh, mysteries thank you for watching thank you for subscribing because you like the video and you subscribe to the video the next video we are going to get notification see you in the next video